Hi guys, welcome to this session of Microsoft Access Projects. Today I'll be taking you through how to come up with ranking in Microsoft Access Reports without coding. In my previous sessions I used dcount. Uh, I also used other methods of ranking but today I'll be showing you how to do it without coding. Therefore basically we start by creating a table therefore we just hit on table design then we shall have our uh, student registration number uh, student registration number and that is range number then this one let's have it as auto number then the primary key then we have uh, our student name student name this is text then you can just have a student that is student class uh, then this class can remain text then from there guys we shall have marks we need to uh, rank marks and therefore this one is number for that case i can save my table therefore i just save this table of mine as a ranking there we are then from there guys we can just um, have some data in our table where we can just have few student captured here so we can just have uh, done done with change you can just have somebody like john Hawkins. we can have martin Tino. then we can just have a last guy here James Peter. Then this one can be in class one, and this one can be class uh, one S. S. This one can be one N. This one can be one S. And for this, our guys. Then from there, we can just have some marks like 500. This one scored 680. This one scored. Uh, 960 this one is called 680 now 6 race 89 therefore uh, this is the data I want us to use to uh, do our ranking without using any function therefore I just needed to close this one and uh, I want to save changes therefore I make sure there are some data therefore this is the data I have then from there guys you just go to create then report we want to uh, come up with a report that we can just opt to use report wizard then i just uh, hit this arrows this one will take everything to my right hand side therefore i just go next i just go next then here just choose with the admission number registration number then next then from here i need my layout to be tabular therefore you can see how tabular looks like here if I just click on next, uh, next that way, then I can just call it ranking uh, report. That is ranking uh, report. Then from there, I can just hit on finish. Uh, this is what we have. Therefore, just uh, uh, reduce the size. Therefore, just go to design view. And then uh, I can just reduce this field. It's too wide. If I just reduce this one to somewhere there, then I can bring my marks here. That way. Then can just make this one vivid. You just go to format. Then you just uh, give it some color and also a larger font. Then uh, from there, this is our student registration number here. And for this one, you can just uh, make it also vivid. And that way, now for this one, can just now this one seems to be occupying so much space. Therefore, this is what we have, guys. So, if I save this one and run, uh, you see these are my marks. Therefore, I have some space here to add uh, my ranking or my positioning for these students. Therefore, what I needed to do is to uh, go to uh, design. I go to design here then I click on text box then I just draw 
my text box here. If I just draw my text box there, then I remove the label. At it, then just go to uh, design, take a label, then I can draw my label here. This is my position on my rank. This is rank stroke position. If I can have the rank stroke position of this guy, I can also uh, go home. Or click that go home um, I just need to change this if I just got format it is easier to go in that way then I click bold therefore that's what I have then here guys you need to type equals here just click inside the first therefore here inside the text box you just type uh, equal sign equals to one therefore once you type equals to one then you go to properties uh, you go to design go to properties then in uh, this dialog box here just go to data then you go to this point here running sum here you change from no to overall therefore running sum equals to overall then from there just save my stuff then run if i just go to home view therefore guys you realize that uh, ranking has taken place and um, therefore uh, I can be in a position to only sort marks now. Therefore, you realize that this marks is not uh, going as per the tarry. Therefore, just go to design view. Then you need to sort this. Therefore, just go to this point here. You can go to home, then sort the setting. Then, for example, you just run it. Uh, there we are. Therefore, you can see now, guys, ranking is correct. Therefore, sometimes you may opt to uh, do that ranking by making sure that the parameter you want to rank is uh, sorted in descending order. Then you again uh, go to that process. You put a text box, type one, then go to design, go to property sheet. That is design, you go to properties. Then on the property data tab, uh, on the property data tab that is the property of the text box first of all you must hit the text box so that it leads here this is my text 11 therefore you go to data running sum you change to overall you can also remove this box by going to or then you just go to uh, you need to scroll this up so that you can see back style here you change it to transparent also border style you change it to transparent therefore when i now run this one here if i run it you notice that um, everything is working fine therefore guys that's how you can do ranking uh, whereby you don't want repeated uh, numbers to have the same position if you need that one to happen then you must use um, that is uh, d count or uh, D sum as I have posted the link below this video and therefore guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe for me if you haven't done so also share these videos with your friend thank you very much